This presentation demonstrates the features of the SCW Insights Portal self-service reports. We will demonstrate the features common to all self-service reports, then demonstrate the specific features of individual reports. For the purpose of this demonstration, we assume that the user has accessed the Insights Portal landing page and that they have permission to access the Provider Performance Portfolio. Users will also need a working knowledge of Microsoft Excel and the operation of pivot tables. The Performance Self-Service Reports are located in the Provider Performance Portfolio page. The reports use the Microsoft Excel Online platform. This is the consultant-led referral to treatment waiting times report. When first opening a report, the user will be taken to the cover page containing the report title and a statement regarding the data supplied and its agreed usage. There are three tabs at the bottom of the page, the report cover, the pivot tab, and the information tab. The continue button on the cover page will take you to the pivot tab where the data can be selected and filtered. We will view the Information tab first. The Information tab displays metadata about the report in question. The upper section contains information about the report, including the report author, the data source used to create the workbook, the data status, the product owner for the report, the release date, release type, software version, and workbook status. The lower section contains technical information regarding the data contained within the report, including the specific report tables that the information was extracted from, the date and time that the report data was last refreshed, self-service reports are typically refreshed overnight to incorporate any new data, and the date of the latest data within the performance cube. The Pivot tab contains an Excel Online Pivot Table. This is a live link to the data source indicated in the Information tab, so all queries are processed in real time. The initial page shows a financial year table with a data table below. The selected financial year is highlighted. The selection can be changed by clicking on any year. It's also possible to select multiple years by holding down the control key and selecting other years. The selected year or years will be displayed in the data table, with the column headings updating as appropriate. The current measure being displayed is shown in the data table as the RTT 18-week percentage. This denotes the percentage of patients having started a treatment pathway within 18 weeks of referral. The percentages to the right of the year denote the national average across all providers. By clicking on the plus sign next to the year, the data set is expanded to display a breakdown of percentages across all service providers. As with any Excel sheet, the column width can be resized to fit all the text, either by dragging the column border or double-clicking it to automatically resize it. Clicking on the measure will also pop out the Pivot Table Fields pane from the right of the screen, which will be covered momentarily. You can hide or show the Pivot Table Fields pane at any time by right-clicking on the measure and selecting Hide Field List or Show Field List. To view a different performance measure, the Pivot Table Fields pane is used. This contains all the measures that can be selected. If the text is too long to fit in the pane, Hover over it, and a tooltip window will pop up, containing the full text. To change the measure, deselect the current measure in the Fields pane, and select the measure you require. In this case, RTT less than 18 weeks admitted. The data table will immediately update to show the required measure. Should you wish to compare two or more measures, simply click on an additional measure. The data table will immediately update to show the required measure side by side. Column widths can be adjusted again to fit the text. For a more detailed breakdown, there are measures by weekly weight available. These are grouped into two subfolders for less than 18 weeks and greater than 18 weeks. Once the data is arranged in the required format and layout, it is possible to export the data set for further analysis. Select the menu on the top right of the screen and select Download. 
the file will be saved as an Excel binary format worksheet. If you have any further questions, or you would like to provide feedback on this presentation, please contact the Digital Intelligence team using the address below. Links to the Insights Portal Access Request Form and the Insights Portal landing page are shown at the bottom of the screen.